A. Bryce Miller. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Dylan Carlson leading things off and takes a strike. Right through there for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Lau at the plate, good power, not great in the OBP department. Nope. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. One out, base is empty. That's off the mark, and the count is 2-0. Left hand batter waits up and in and that's ball three. He hasn't gotten the result yet, but he's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this pitcher. Chopper to second. Polanco tosses to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. Not a whole lot going their way offensively the last few games, Chris. Yeah, Boog, and that can put more pressure on the pitching staff to try to limit the opponent to just one or two runs a game, knowing that their offense is not scoring right now. And that never really works well because you try to be too fine and you end up giving up a lot of runs. So we'll see if everybody can just relax, bring things together, and perform at a level that they're capable of. The 1-0. Inside, just missed. Two out spaces empty. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. Two outs. Fights it off. You'll see another. Here's the 2-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Still 2-2 two two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Down in order, go the Rays. So now the Mariners offense gets to go to work for the first time. We've got no score. You're dialed into the show. Back in Seattle. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Ryan Pepio. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider... Having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Luke Rayleigh, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one.
Here comes a pitch. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate under the Mendoza line so far this month. Way upstairs, and yeah, that's ball one. Swings through that one for strike one. And that's a strike. The pitch. And another ball. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake in. I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Kicks and deals. On a line, base hit. Around first, digging for two. Throws to second. That pitch came off the bat really well in the center field, and he clearly put a nice swing on it. And anytime you can get one to drop in out there, you know you stung it pretty good because it seems like center fielders these days, to a man, these guys can run down just about everything hit their way. Man at second here with two away. Now it's Randy at Rosarena. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. He's got it. That is the inning. Mariners leave one. Scoreless after one. Top of the second. Now up for Tampa Bay. Christopher Morrell. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets a head and a count. And a pitch. And one and two. And misses inside. It's a good take. That one misses. Full count now. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. Run around the move. Up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. They'll just put it in play, right? With his speed, that's a hit every time. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's the center fielder, Johnny DeLuca, trying to get the raise on the board. That clips the zone. Going one. And 
and fouled off. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And he'll two. Popped up, and the infield fly is called. Two on, one out. Jose Caballero now at the plate. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season, so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. On the ground to third. There's one, and that's two. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. And we're back. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Pepio back to work. Just missed. Pepio, a 6'3 righty, 215 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. And that's off the inside edge. And now 2 0. Umpire and behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That is good. Turner climbs in on that right side. In the dirt and an excellent job keeping it right there. At the belt and fires. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Nobody out. Runner at first. And downstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Back to work. 3-2 now. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. No score here in the second. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And the right hander deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the righty deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, not every great at bat ends in a hit. He saw a lot of pitches. That kind of an at bat can be contagious to a lineup. Here's Josh Rojas. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Now fly ball to right center. Lowe has it sized up. Lowe snags it on the run. Dominic Panzone, the next to hit. First offering, and it just misses. In the dirt, blocked. Rudder stays where he is, but the count moves to 2 and 0. Oh.
You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. That one pulled foul. Soft contact in the air. He's got it. And that is out number three. One left for Seattle. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And now the catcher for the Rays, Ben Workvet. And a pitch. And there's a ball. That one misses. Two balls, no strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. That one finds the zone. And now three and one. Hard ground ball, base knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Taylor Walls. And that's in for a strike. Here's your one. And a foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And the pitch. Foul off the plate, they'll do it again. Right hander kicks, deals. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. The pitch. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So the Rays batting order turns over. This is Dylan Carlson. Struck out swinging his first time. Off the mark there. Ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Next offering is in for a strike. First and second, no outs. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Ground ball could be two. Quickly to second for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first. And the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect. And right there, they made it look pretty easy. And now it's Brandon Lau. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Ball one, no strikes. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Rortvet on third with two out. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. And that should quiet this home crowd. 
his 17th of the year. It's 2-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrists to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Two outs, nobody on. Next to hit, Junior Caminero. First pitch misses. Riding to the plate. Fought off foul. One one now. Swing and a foul straight back. Ground ball left side. Rojas slows on to first. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run homer. It's now a two nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for Seattle, Leonardo Rivas. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Bunting, and it's in the air. Hauls it in for the out. Well, he gave the bunt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit, and when guys rush, it can be a pop-up or it can be bunted right back at a position player. Next is the speedy first baseman, Luke Raley. And a big swing and a miss. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. The M's trailing by two here in the last half of the third. Deal two. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Backed off the plate that time. Here it comes. Outside low, and now it's three and two. He caught it behind his back, and very nicely done for the out. Two outs, space is empty. Now the number two hitter, Julio Rodriguez. Foul ball there. Two outs. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Raleigh batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And he deals. And that one wrapped foul.
the pitch. Breaking ball inside. And a count one and two. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. Mariners leave one. They trail things here to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the fourth. Now it's the second baseman, Christopher Morell. This is a batter right here who really produces in these night games, and we saw the latest example of it in his first A.B. Way high. Here's something cool, Boog. When they finished building T-Mobile Park back in 1999, they actually opened it up in the middle of the season. I remember as a rookie with the Chicago White Sox, we opened the season at the Kingdom, and then when we came back later in the year, we were playing at T-Mobile Park. It's a beautiful place, great scenery from center field, and I always enjoyed playing here. Two, two on the ground a third and it gets by him a couple of hits in a row for him here just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield he just kind of rolled over on it a little bit but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion now here is Josh Lowe and the first pitch misses for ball one Left hand batter waits and he takes a strike back to back fastballs in that last one called for a strike probably go away but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off righty delivers that one fouled off Rudder at first with no outs here. The one two. And another ball. Still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Not close with that one. Full count now. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. At the belt and fires. Hammered. And now maybe extra bases. Morell, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score easily, and they're up by three. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now up for Tampa Bay, Johnny DeLuca. Flied out his first time. in there for strike one pickoff moved to second low back on a dive one run across in the frame so far top half of inning number four And a foul ball. On the ground. And that's a fair ball. Around third. The throw in. He's in safely at second as a run scores. 
Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So a man aboard and stepping in is the speedy Jose Caballero. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Swings and fouls one off. DeLuca leads off second with nobody out. Way outside. Going to count one and two. Some activity in the Mariners' bullpen. A right-hander is up and throwing. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Typically that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Rortvet batting with one down, takes the strike. in the air left field makes the grab on the run and there's two away so digging in Taylor Walls he was plunked in his first trip to the plate swing and a miss and that's strike one two outs and one in scoring position. That misses the zone at a count one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Boog, that wasn't even close. You know, sometimes a guy will barely miss the zone and hit someone, but right there, he completely lost the handle, and that's when it gets a little scary. Carlson in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. The 1 0. On the corner for a strike. Next offering upstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. There's a swing and a drive. His fourth home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's seven nothing. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. And here comes the Mariners manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Bryce Miller is done. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Righty reliever out of the pen, number 22. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And here's the first baseman, Brandon Lau. In there, and it's 
Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right-handed reliever. Struck him out looking. But not before five crossed the plate. With the big blow being this, three-run homer. It's now 7 nothing. Back after this on the show. Back in Seattle, now the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. The wide to kick the pitch. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. A massive home run. His 18th home run of the season, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 7-1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So up next, Jorge Polanco. That one catches the zone. Strike one. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Strike two. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere. Then you got a chance. Going two now. This to third. And Polanco is out. Now back, the designated hitter, Justin Turner. Here's Turner now. Struck out looking his first time. Right through there for a strike. The Mariners with a lot of ground to make up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Well struck right field. That one hops against the fence. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And at second with one away. And up next for Seattle, Josh Rojas. He's 0 for 1. And that clips the inside corner. Man at second. On the ground, out to short. Throws the first in time. The right fielder, number eight. Canzone. And stepping in for the Mariners, Dominic Canzone. He's 0 for 1. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Just missed. Turner stands at second with two gone. That one hammered center field. DeLuca ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
but a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. It's now 7-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We go to the top of the fifth. At the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Junior Caminero. The wind of the pitch. Swung on, belted. A Rosarena going back. Leaf in, and he brought it back. Rob's a potential solo shot right there. That'll fire your team up, but even more so the player. I'm excited to see how they respond. Christopher Morell next to hit for the Rays. Ball one there. Morell, 24 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. That misses the zone. Ball two. That clips the inside corner for a strike. There's a strike. The 2-2. And that just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the right hander deals. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. There it was, a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And now the count is even. Man at first, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Smoked in the left, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Now and stepping in for the Rays, Johnny DeLuca, one for two. Grounder might be two. Fired to second. On to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the balls. He tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice.
So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. That clips the zone. 0 and 1. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Strike two. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Two on, two outs. Just outside. Now one and two. Move to first. And he's back in easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs. Stays alive. Here's a one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. That one missed. To the right side, and he grabs it foul. And another ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. So the Rays strand a pair, and they're on top 7 to 1. And we're back. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Leonardo Rivas. Pepio back to work. He swings and misses at the first pitch, 0-1. Well, these Mariners just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. A little out front there as he swings through it. Kicks and fires. Close, but called a ball. And it's two and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Next offering way upstairs. High fly ball down the left field line. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. The bat. The first baseman. So the lineup flips over. Luke Raley up next for the Mariners. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. The wind and the pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Good eye right there. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Towards first and that chance handled. Steps on first for the out. The center fielder number 44. Julio. Rodriguez. So two down now and here is Julio Rodriguez. down the line and it gets into the corner but it's foul 
Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Nobody left for Seattle. They're down seven to one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the catcher for the Rays, Ben Workvet. The pitch. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one back there on the warning track and hauls it in. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Taylor Walls next to hit for the Rays. The shortstop takes a ball. Next offering is down low. The Rays up big in this one, and we're the top half of the sixth. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. And that's off the inside edge. Ball three. On its way to the corner, the Rosarena after it. He's got it, and there's two away. So the batting order turns over. Dylan Carlson digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Popped up on his way over, and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. So they go quietly there. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Rays 7 and the Mariners 1. Back at T-Mobile Park, bottom of the sixth inning. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Randy Arozarena. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 1-0. Oh. And that one is inside. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. That's in there, and the count is three and one. Right through there for a strike. And the righty deals. 
Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The M's with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the sixth. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. 3-2. And they'll do it again. And a payoff pitch. And he walked him. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Liner, and that should be extra bases. A Rosarena around second, headed for third, coming home. He will score. It's seven to two. Picks himself up an RBI. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. So now Turner in on that right side. And it's fouled away. Polanco leads off second with one gone in the inning. And a good eye there. Action in the pen down there. Garrett Clevenger warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Bradley, the right-hander, also getting loose. Man at second. That's a little bit low. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Ryan Pepio gives way. And a pretty good outing for him as he leaves with a nice lead. New pitcher when we get back. New arm out of the bullpen, Tyler Alexander. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Here's the third baseman, Josh Rojas. First offering misses badly for ball one. Rudder at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around third, he'll score. It's seven to three, and he's got a double. Comes through with the RBI. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. So two down, and here is Dominic Canzone. On the ground to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through six full. 
It's the Rays seven and the Mariners three. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Taylor Saucedo. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. So digging in, Brandon Lau. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. That misses. And that's ball one. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. JT Shagwa appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Right through there for a strike. And now two balls and a strike. Left hand hitter waits. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now, Junior Caminero turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Down the middle for a strike. 0 and 2. And a pitch. That one not close. And it's 1 and 2. This one in the air. Rayleigh drifts towards it. Makes the grab. One down. Here's the second baseman, Christopher Morell. Missed inside with the curve. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. And the 1-0. And a foul ball. And here it comes. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. One, two. Fights it off, you'll see another. And he deals. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three, two. Right side, and that's just foul.
And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Man at first, and now the right fielder, Josh Lowe. Three for three with two singles and a double. Lined into left center, and that should be extra bases. Lau around second, headed for third. Coming home. He'll score easily, and it's 8-3. Well done. Drives in the run. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Johnny DeLuca next to hit for the Rays. One for three. In the dirt, ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Low at second with two down. And yeah, that's outside. And now three and one. And a foul ball. The kick, the three two. Bounce to the left side. And that should be extra bases. Around third. The throw into second. He pulls into second, and a run comes in to score. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line. And once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. Man in scoring position with two away. Now it's going to be Jose Caballero. Into center and a base hit. Around third. He scores, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away. J.T. Shagwa comes on now. He last pitched two days ago. And stepping in for the Rays, Ben Wurtvet. Ground ball up the middle, Rivas. They get the force, and that will end the inning. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. Seventh inning stretch time. Rays 10, and the Mariners 3. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. Now it's the shortstop, Leonardo Rivas. The pitch. And yeah, there's the strike. That one catches the corner for a strike. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Pretty nasty cutter right there, and you're seeing that pitch, that location a lot more these days, and you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. It was just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play. So I can feel for the guy right there walking back to the dugout. Rayleigh 
in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Up the middle. Nice grab from his knees. The throw. And he gets him. Nicely done. Great reaction there to get to the baseball, secure it, and then no time to get up and throw. Throws from one knee. That's a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his arm strength and accuracy. Two outs, space is empty. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Just off the outside edge. 1 and 0. Oh. Two down, nobody on. And now two and nothing. Outside corner, there's a strike. Swings through that one. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Two outs. Just misses with that one. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And now the lefty. And he grounds one back up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to hold on to it and the defense comes away with nothing. And now for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. And that one a little below the knees. And that is ball one. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Kicks and fires. Fouls it back with two strikes. Rodriguez, the runner at first with two gone. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. One left for Seattle. Not what they were looking for. It's 10-3. And we're back, and the batter will be the shortstop, Taylor Walls. The pitch. Shagwa, a righty that throws with power. He features a sinker, a slider, and he works in a four-seamer. Righty delivers. Inside almost got him. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a foul straight back. One and two now. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. At the belt and fires. Misses. Now two and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Here comes a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Rodriguez brings it in with a nice running grab. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Oh. 
First pitch doesn't find the zone. And yeah, that's outside. And another ball. Right down the chute, and that is strike one. The Rays up big in this one, and we're in the top of the eighth. And it's through for a hit. He was all over that one. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Runner on at first with one gone. Brandon Lau next to hit for the Rays. In for a strike. Going one. That's down and in, a slider missed. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Righty to the plate. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Carlson, round second on his way to third. Coming home, the relay, the tag out. Well, clearly being aggressive on the bases right there, trying to add on to that big lead. Credit to the defense, though. Nice execution to cut him down at the plate. Man, it's good to see they're still out there trying to make plays for their pitcher. And next is the designated hitter, Junior Caminero. First pitch misses. hit center field here comes loud he will score and it's an eight run lead puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI pretty good spot hard and inside but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body the ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field Morrell in the box now no balls in a strike Two outs. Pulls that one foul. And a pitch. That one just misses. And that skips in the dirt. Swing and a miss struck him out. So they get one run on three hits, no errors, and one left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rays 11 and the Mariners 3. Bottom of the inning, and now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Randy Arozarena. Alexander back to work. Going one. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Outside. Now one and two.
blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. The batter, two. two outs, base is empty. And now the DH, Justin Turner. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Back in Seattle, all set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in, Josh Lowe. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. That one the other way, and it goes just foul. Oh, and two now. He goes down looking. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. Now, Boog, in a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Johnny DeLuca next to hit for the Rays. Fought off foul. Next offering way off the plate. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. And now one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone, and for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Caballero in now, takes ball one off the plate. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. It's the Rays 11 and the Mariners 3. Back at T-Mobile Park, last chance for the home team. And stepping in for the Mariners, Josh Rojas. As the lefty gets to work, and that's outside. Out towards right center field. Low hustling after it. Brings it in, and there's one down. Now batting, right fielder, Yamada. He's two outs away. And up next for Seattle, Dominic Canzone. That one to first, and it finds its way through for a hit. 
So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Leonardo Rivas up next for the Mariners. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. That clips the corner. The Rays up big in this one. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Fights that one away, still one and two. Slice to right, and foul ball. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. And they're down to their last out. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Luke Raley up next for the Mariners. 0 for 4 with three ground outs and a strikeout. Lace down the line. Put the extra bases. Ken Zone around second, headed for third. Coming home. Relay throw home. He'll score easily. It's 11 4. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So, man aboard, Julio Rodriguez. Up next for the Mariners. In for a strike. It's 0-1. And that one pulled foul. Rayleigh at second with two down. That one missing inside. Alexander is just one strike away. Man on second, two down. Fouls it off, still one and two. The pitch. Ground ball, and this should do it. Walls. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Rays take this one in a blowout. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. Final score in this one, 11 to 4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew, I'm John Chambi saying so long from T-Mobile Park in Seattle.